Hatch enhancements in AutoCAD 2010 provide more robust boundary detection and the ability to edit non-associative hatch objects. You can select a non-associative hatch and then use intuitive grips to dynamically change its shape. The new measure tool includes five measurement options in a single command. The distance option behaves similar to the old dist command but with a more friendly display and the added ability to specify multiple points. If you specify two points, AutoCAD displays the distance delta x, delta y, and angle in the xy plane. You can select the multiple option to continue picking points. With each pick, AutoCAD displays the cumulative distance. Using the Radius option, you can select a circle or arc to display its radius and diameter. The Angle option behaves similar to the Dim Angular command, enabling you to select an arc, circle, or lines, or to specify a vertex. The Area option behaves similar to the old Area command. You can specify points or select objects to display the included area and you can use the Add or Subtract options to determine cumulative areas. Unlike the old Area command, however, the new Area option dynamically highlights the areas as you select objects or pick points. It displays different colors for adding versus subtracting. You can use the Volume option to specify boundary points with visual feedback similar to the Area option, and then specify a height to determine the volume. The updated spline editing tool includes a new option to convert a spline to a polyline. Select the spline you want to edit and choose the Convert to Polyline option. You're prompted to specify a precision for the conversion. Enter any value between 0 and 99. The higher the value, the more accurate the polyline. In addition to the new Convert to Polyline option in the Spline Edit tool, you can use the updated Polyline Edit command to select a spline object and automatically convert it to a polyline. After selecting the spline and confirming that you want to convert it, you can specify the precision between 0 and 99. The new reverse tool enables you to reverse the direction of lines, polylines, splines, and helixes. The ability to change the direction of these objects provides you with more control, such as the display of special line types. In addition to the new reverse tool, the polyline edit command has been updated to include a new reverse option. The new VP rotate associ variable enables you to control the rotation of a view within a layout viewport. When you rotate the viewport with VP rotate associ set to zero, the view within the viewport will not rotate even though the viewport itself does. When VP rotate associ is set to one, the view will also rotate to maintain its orientation relative to the viewport. The Purge dialog box has been updated to include an option for purging zero-length geometry and empty text objects. 